Fall days bring cooler temperatures, foggy mornings, and jig fishing for bass. The Pearl River is an excellent river to learn how to fish a jig and pig combo. With a few tips, anglers can enjoy a scenic outing on the East Louisiana River. Tide is a big factor on any river system. Tree-lined banks with moving water is one combination to look for. Place a jig next to stumps, trees, and laydowns that break the current. Fish often rest in the eddies in order to ambush their prey. Be ready for a bite at all times. In order to be a good jig fisherman, watch the line for any hint of a bite. What Pearl River bass lack in size, they make up in pure determination. Feisty river fish average about a pound with a good lunker weighing in above three pounds or more. Another tip for jig anglers is rod position. Keep the rod in the 9 or 10 o'clock position. A pull set and firm hook set will drive the hook home. Use short hops of the jig to entice a bite. If the rod is out of position when a fish strikes, the chance of losing the battle goes up. In this shot, the bass quickly takes the bait and if the rod was not in the correct position, a good hook set would not occur. Always keep the rod about 9 o'clock and be prepared because you never know when a Pearl River bass is going to come up and take your bait. During outgoing tides, drains become very important. Fish will sometimes stack up on the points or inside the drains or maybe even out in the river. Work the drains thoroughly. Usually there's a fish in just about every drain down the river on the Pearl. Slowly move the bait up and down the drain until you find a location where a fish may be sitting. Use a jig to feel for stumps, logs, and other things on the bottom. Often the bass will hide behind the cover waiting for stuff to come out of the drain. I'm on the Pearl River today, I'm using a new Stanley jig. It's a hand-tied jig skirt, which is excellent because you never have to worry about your skirt sliding down your hook. It stays in place. On the Pearl, they like black and blue. That's just a basic color to throw. If you, you might get to add a little chartreuse or orange or something like that if the water's really dingy, but late fall, black and blue is a good color. Now a couple of good trailers to use over here, just any kind of sapphire blue. This is a little chigger crawl or a little chump. Any kind of sapphire blue on a black and blue jig on the Pearl, it's a good tip for you. Just remember the hand-tied jig from Stanley and the sapphire blue trailer.